Alright, hello, hello, and welcome to From the East End Terrace. Uh, my name is Jonathan Kimball. Um, it's about 10.15 uh, on uh, Thursday. Um, just getting started here uh, downtown at the Gateway Studios. Uh, got a lot to talk about tonight, so why don't we just bust right into it. Um, if you're new to the show, uh, we're just going to... We're going to talk a lot about the Pittsburgh Riverhounds, um, their upcoming match with the Richmond Kickers, um, some news and notes about them. Um, we're also going to talk about the USA. Uh, they're friendly with Mexico last night uh, in Arizona, ended in a 2-2 draw. I don't know if uh, many of you stayed up to watch it. It was pretty late on the uh, East Coast. And also uh, just look ahead to the weekend action in um, the EPL the MLS and, of course, the uh, USL Pro, the uh, league which our Pittsburgh Riverhounds are in, if you are a Riverhound supporter like myself. Uh, if you're listening to the show, uh, thank you. Um, however you may be uh, listening to it, I've uh, been up- uploading on SoundCloud and also YouTube. Uh, still working out um, a lot of the kinks of the show. Um, Right now, still have it in 12-minute snippets, uh, still working on that. Um, basically doing it for my iPad um, on the GarageBand app. So still <clears throat> still toying with that and how to make it longer um, and all that good stuff. So trying to make it as best as possible. Um, so, yeah, it's a work in progress, but I think uh, we're off to a decent start. Uh, not too bad. So. All right, uh, speaking of not getting off to a bad start, um, our boys, the Hounds, uh, they got off to a decent start last week, uh, Saturday night down in Orlando City. Uh, they drew with the defending champions of the USL 1-1. Uh, defending USL MVP, Jose Angulo, got started off, uh, got a season started off well with a goal. Um, that's always nice to get one in the back of the net in the first game, so... That was last week's game. Uh, we're going to look ahead to the uh, the game ahead this Saturday night at 5 o'clock against the uh, Richmond Kickers. Um, but first, uh, I want to get into some uh, just quick news and notes about the uh, River Hounds. Uh, that happened in the uh, in the week. Um, first off, the, uh, the Lonies uh, from the MLS affiliate, the Houston Dynamo, have been completed. Um, the Dynamo have sent two more players to the River Hounds. Um, they've sent midfielder Brian Ownby, um, which is very nice, uh, talented player. And also they have uh, sent goalkeeper, I believe, named Michael Lish. Um, yes, they have sent a goalkeeper because uh, the other news of the week, um, Hunter Gilstrap underwent surgery to uh, fix the injury he suffered last week in Orlando. Um it's looking like he's going to miss, uh, I'd say, at least a month. Um, yeah, maybe like four to six weeks, uh, maybe a little earlier uh, if we're on the optimistic side. Um, I haven't rewatched the game. I know a couple of people have. Um, I kind of missed the feed when this happened, but I guess it was a pretty nasty play from Orlando, and, uh, you know, I guess there, there should have been a foul on the play. Um, the play that Gilstrap got injured on, uh, I guess he came out <coughs> came out to uh, fight for a ball, and I guess uh, there was a collision or maybe a foul with the Orlando player. And um, Hunter, he uh, he suffered a broken bone. Um, yeah, uh, not sure the, not sure the name of the bone. It's got a, it's got a funny name. It's not a normal sound, sounding name, but. But he broke a bone, and he underwent surgery. Now he's going to start his rehab. And, um, yeah, we wish him luck, and we wish him a speedy recovery. But until then, we have this uh, loney goalkeeper from Houston, Michael Leash. Uh, don't know if he's going to start over Bloom. Uh, don't know what Evans is thinking there. Um, we will see this Saturday in Richmond, who who the gaffer thinks is uh, going to be better between the sticks there for uh, <clears throat> for the game against Richmond and, and going forward. Um, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Ownby plays, too. Um, I didn't think the uh, Lonies were going to play last week, but they did. But um, we'll see uh, We'll see the starting lineup here for the, uh, the Riverhounds uh, 
It's going to be interesting to see uh, who they put out. Is it going to be very similar to the lineup they had against Orlando? Is there going to be tweaks? Uh, we will see. All right, why don't we uh, move on here to some other news of the week, uh, the USL Pro Team of the Week. Yeah, the uh, USL Team of the Week. I don't know if you guys heard, but a couple of our hounds, um, they made the USL Pro 11 for the uh, for Week 2 of the 2014 season. Um, yeah, earned a pair of selections. Uh, the first one was uh, one of the on-loan players from the Dynamo, uh, Anthony Arena, and uh, the other midfielder, Anthony uh, Ob- Obade. Uh, <laughs> I still can never say that guy's name, but... Um, but yeah, he was uh, strong in particular. Um, he helped break up uh, a lot of uh, Orlando attacks, and he uh, distributed well from from the center of the midfield. Um, yeah, and uh, Arena had a strong game uh, at, at the back in his uh, first Riverhounds appearance, so it was uh, very promising from uh, those two. <laughs> All right, uh, move on to some other news of the week in the... Um, the USL. Uh, interesting signing from the uh, Harrisburg City Islanders. Uh, I saw this on the uh, USL Pro website and I uh, thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, the uh, Harrisburg City Islanders have uh, announced that they have signed uh, midfield Neil uh, Schaefer. Um, actually, uh, Pitt, most of you guys will know him, uh, Pittsburgh native. Um, he's played for uh, many uh, teams and um, yeah, he also uh, played for the Riverhounds uh, throughout the 2011-2012 uh, season. Um, yeah, I guess he has been uh, training recently over in uh, Eng- not England. I was going to say Europe, but he's been training in Europe in uh, Polish first is first division with a team uh, in Warsaw. So uh, that that's very interesting. But um, yeah, I thought I would pass that along as uh, the uh, Harrisburg uh, Islanders they signed one of the. Um, one of our uh, former boys, so, um, yeah, thought I'd uh, pass that along, I uh, thought that was an int- <coughs> interesting uh, little tidbit there, um, all right, why don't we uh, finish up uh, talking about the uh, USL News of the Week with the uh, USL Pro schedule, I just wanted to uh, finish this sec- section real quick uh, with a little uh, Steel Army talk, um, Today being Thursday, I noticed a lot of uh, throwback pictures of uh, the uh, first meetings uh, back in 2007 and 2008. Um, That was really cool to see, and it was also uh, really neat to see some of the message boards and to see how the the group got started back in 2007-2008 with the uh, first meetings at uh, Piper's Pub. I myself was uh, not a member back then. Um, I'm a new member, uh, kind of new. Uh, I've uh, been with the uh, Army, I guess you could say, for about a year. I uh, started going uh, when the high mark was built. Um, so, yeah, you can bust my balls for that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I deserve it. Uh, well, I mean, you could say, uh, geez, back 2008 through 2010, I, I was... Uh, I was a different person. Jeez, I, I didn't even have my my life together. <laughs> I was a mess, but uh, that's another story for another day, uh, for another type podcast. <laughs> Not even going to delve into that there, but um, back to the uh, subject. Yeah, it was really cool to see how the uh, the Army got started and who were the, uh, the original guys there at uh, the first meeting, I guess it was back in November 2007. So uh, that was really cool to see. Um, all right, uh, why don't we move on to just a little preview of uh, the game on Saturday, which is uh, at 5 o'clock, uh, Riverhounds at the uh, Richmond Kickers. Um, yeah, it's a tough, uh, tough opening week for uh, – tough opening couple weeks for the uh, Riverhounds. Um, first game is on the road against the uh, defending USL Pro Champions, and then the uh, – Second game is on the road against the team that had the uh, best record, the most points in the uh, in the USL Pro last year. So, the Hounds definitely get uh, tested early, right off the bat. Bang, a uh, couple games, um, you know, a couple real tough games on the road before they uh, come home for the home opener on uh, April twelfth. April yeah, <laughs> April twelfth against Wilmington. Um, the starting eleven for the Hounds um, will it be. Uh, Will it be changed from the uh, game against Orlando? Well, obviously we know uh, 
Gil Strap will be uh, out. Uh, he is out injured. Um, I believe we'll see a very similar lineup. Um, maybe a couple tweaks. Maybe you throw Onbi in there in the midfield. Um, does Collins John get his first uh, Riverhounds action? Do, do the uh, does he get his uh, his uh, first start? Um, we will see. We will see. Um, the kickers uh, they had a great season last year. Uh, the best, uh, the most points in the USL Pro as I mentioned. A um, couple players to uh, watch out for them. Uh, you got George Davis. Uh, he signed from Orange, Orange County uh, last year. Um, now he is a USL Pro veteran, and I'm not sure if this is the uh, s the uh, same guy that played for the the River Hounds. I know there was a guy on the Blues last year who was a uh, former Hounds player, and uh, I'm not sure if this is that guy. But um, he is on the Kickers this year, and uh, he is making an impact already with a pair of goals on the road against the uh, Charleston Battery. Um, the uh, <clears throat> the Richmond Kickers got their 2014 campaign underway with a 2-2 draw at Charleston. Um, it's a decent result. Uh, Charleston's a, a pretty good side, so that's uh, <clears throat> they got a good result on the road, uh, just as the Riverhounds did. But um, George Davis, he uh, knocked in a couple goals for uh, for <clears throat> during that game. So all right, well. According to my shitty format, I'm running to the end of the time for the uh, first segment, so I will come back with uh, part two. All right, thank you for listening. We'll be back with uh, part dos.